Hey man, say man. So look, I'm gonna hold y'all too long. I ain't finna get into the whole intro thing. Y'all can already see my name. Y'all know who it is. This your boy HTXV. But look, so right here what we have is transgender women. Um, evidently they're dominating in all the sports. Now the thing is, I have an issue with this because, like, especially when it comes to contact sports, bro, you have the strength of a man. You are strong as Hercules, and you want to fight women, bro. That's not right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Women are strong in their own regard, in their own aspect. You know what I'm saying? There's different categories of strength, you know. You have physical strength, mental strength, you know, even your durability, like your ability to take pain. Your pain tolerance is a lot higher than men. So, but still, that does not excuse a man to want to go and compete in a woman's sport knowing that you are physically stronger than a woman you are gonna beat her ass and now here we have wrestling this should just straight out be illegal this is not even fair that's not even fair why are you even come on man this shit is ridiculous and hey, look at this motherfucker look how you are like seven foot tall bro you are literally a giant compared to these women you probably not even seven foot tall you probably as tall as me almost you making these girls look so short, bro. These women cannot compete. That's not even fair, bro. And then this man is in a weightlifting contest, really? Really in a weightlifting? Like, this is just stuff that's just like, come on, man. You can't do this. That ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You know, no matter how much work you get on your body, and no matter what you want to consider yourself as, this is just truth. You're still a woman. Not woman, you're still a man. You know what I'm saying? You're still a man. And if you're a woman who trans over, transfer, uh, transfers over to be a man, you're still a woman. You see what I'm saying? Because that's what you were born with. That's what your body was set up to. You know what I'm saying? We can't... You may want to go against it, but truth is what truth is. You are what you were put in here to be. You were put in here to be a man, so you a man. You were put in here to be a woman... You a woman. You can't change that. So I don't know why you trying to, you know, if you want to, why can't you just compete in your own division? What, why do you want to compete against women first off? Transgender MMA fighter has said she wants a license to fight in California. A biological male has just become the first transgender person to win a world title in cycling. What the fuck? Made an international event as a woman. A biological male winning a gold medal in a women's event now seems a matter of when, not if. What the fuck? Events began. Men and women have been segregated by gender to make the competitive events fairer due to different yes. muscle mass, innate strength, or testosterone levels. Say it again. Say it again for the people who didn't hear you. Why? Why is this exactly? It's fairer due to differences in muscle mass, innate strength, or testosterone levels. But you're not supposed to be trying to fucking play men in sports. Nowadays, these physical differences no longer seem to be a determining factor. There are all kinds of reasons that people have advantages. Somebody's parents can give them year-round training. Somebody else is really, really tall and someone's really, really short. Sport has never been fair. You've bought into that myth, so have a lot of other people. But let's face it, if I wanted to be a jockey, I couldn't be. Nature endows her gifts unevenly in society. It's true that some physical characteristics give athletes... Man, what the, what the fuck did this dickhead say? Jockey, I couldn't be. Nature endows her gifts unevenly. So, so what is the point of you saying that? Does that change? It, you notice how all these people that are talking divert from the main point. That what the facts are. That men and women are in two separate categories when it comes to physicality. So... Why would you put them in the same competitions knowing that one is at a drastic disadvantage? You trying to say that somebody's there's it's not equality amongst the uh, amongst the people because you know you have certain gifts and certain talents that you were born with that other people may not have been born with. 
that still doesn't what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like what is what does that have to do really what does that have to do with anything? They let a motherfucker come up here with a suit and tie and say anything because Society. Really really you gotta listen to these people when they talk. They say the dumbest shit. But because they the way that they articulate themselves, you think that they're saying something intelligent when really they said a whole bunch of nothing. Some physical characteristics give athletes a oh. mutual advantage in sports. Like Michael Phelps' is long arms. Yeah. That ain't something that he can help. But the genetic difference of being born as a male or female and competing with the opposite gender proved to be more of a determining factor than any bodily developments in sports. If you go through puberty, you have all the benefits of having a male body. And even if you transition and reduce your testosterone, you're still going to have those benefits. You're going to have the, the bone structure, the slightly bigger heart, more red blood cells. So therefore, a female athlete competing for a transgender female is always going to be at a disadvantage. Testosterone levels are in... Hello! The amount of the hormone defines the eligibility of athletes to compete whenever sporting events are limited to a single sex following IAAF rulings. Thank you. The idea that we need to protect women's or female sports from other women and females is itself inherently discriminatory. Let's rewind this back because I I know it's some ignorant shit that's about to come out of her mouth. No. Yeah. It's about to be some real real Is that a, first off, is this a he or a she? Hold up, I can't tell. I need to, that's a fucking dude. You can see the slit on the neck. Remove the Adam's apple, I think. That's what it was, surgery on the Adam's apple. Let's carve it down. First, I gotta put my front cameras on here. First transgender woman to win world. I'm gonna let you talk. Inherently discriminatory. No testosterone policy will ever work. Male to female athlete. Wait. What the fuck? What? What? The idea that we need to protect women's or female sports from other women and females is itself inherently discriminatory. No testosterone policy will ever work. Male. Huh? <laughs> huh? You're not. You. You. I mean, I'm gonna say that for another time, bro. That's not a, that's not a, you're not a woman, bro. You were born a man and you just decided to change your physical makeup, parts of your physical makeup that you thought made you a man so that now you can be a woman, right? You are still a man because of your, the structure of your body is that of a man. No matter how much you carve away, how much you want to do, you still have these hormones. You still have the body structure. You still have the organs of a man. So what you're saying don't make no fucking sense at all. And yeah, I'm just throwing the F-bomb right now. I'm so sorry for all the younger audience or, you know what I'm saying, people who are get offended by profanity. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But when I see, I'm a type of person, when I see a, a certain level of, ignorance or a certain level of just stupidity it begins to you know what I'm saying piss me off because ha you know what you know what you're saying makes no sense and it will never make sense but yet you're trying to convince somebody else of your bullshit like how does that work why are you trying to convince somebody else of your bullshit if it's wrong, bro, just be wrong. Why are you why are you trying to convince me what you're doing is what you're trying to do is right? Why why should a man be able to compete in a woman's sport? That don't even make sense, man. That is a man, big ass man, bro. But they do need to demonstrate that their testosterone levels have been below 10 nanomol per liter for at least one year, according to the 2016 International Olympic to demonstrate, no longer need to have reassignment surgery. 
but they do need to demonstrate that their testosterone levels have been below 10 nanomole per liter for at least one year, according to the 2016 International Olympic Committee guidelines. It's not saying you're a man or a woman. It's saying you can compete. It's a, a, a matter of eligibility to participate in certain competitions. In the case of female... Bro, that's still not right, bro. No matter which way you want to turn it. What, what is going on here? What do y'all have? At the end of the day, it's sports. But sports are a gateway to politics. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, man, I'm not going to delve too deep in my, my, my opinion on this shit. Basically, y'all already understand how I feel about this. This is just some bullshit. Three minutes in, I guarantee the video is probably like, <laughs> Seven, eight, nine minutes long already. Shit, let's get, let's continue this, man. This is ridiculous. They can compete without restrictions. The ten nanomoles per liter, as I understand it, something like ninety percent of female athletes, their testosterone levels are around three nanomoles per liter. So, in other in other words, this upper limit is three times what would be typical in a female athlete. So it seems like a kind of arbitrary uh, setting unrelated to the realities of the situation. Well, I actually agree with you here. Oh, I was about to say, you better, better not say nothing, sir. Student athletes who decide to change their gender. Well, the rules are not clear at all. Most countries don't have clear regulations. And the biggest student sports organization in the U.S., the NCAA, does not require gender confirmation or a legal recognition of a player's transition sex in order for transgender players to participate on a team that matches their identity. At least I'm going to let this mud play out. I can't just keep talking, bro, because this shit going to be long as hell. Y'all know how I feel. This, shit is bull this is bullshit. This not right. In the middle of all this legal mess, it ain't fair in no way. A based rapper basically identified as a female and broke British women's weightlifting records. Nigga, what the hell is wrong with you? You come in here, you come in here built like Hercules talking about your fucking female. Get your swole ass on somewhere, nigga. What the hell wrong with you? I know he's a, this got to be a troll. broke British women's weightlifting records. Saying, look, I'm not a professional powerlifter, but even I myself, I can walk it. I can stroll into the gym on any day. Yeah, it's a troll. It's a troll. I can break the British women's bench press record. I can break the British women's deadlift record. When I'm on form, I could potentially break the British female squat record. And I'm not, a, I don't even compete. So if you're a woman and you're a natural woman and you don't take any extra hormones or male hormones, you're not taking steroids or any sort of performance enhancing drugs, you're doing your very best to compete and you're at the top of the heap. But then someone comes along that was a man for 30 years and decides that they're going to be a woman and this has happened and literally transitioned a few months ago and competes as a woman and destroys records and dominates you in that sport. That's bullshit. Thank you. That's that's an ex MMA fighter telling you that that's bullshit. That's not even right. That you shouldn't even, you should not be able to do that. Any person who plays, who's ever played sports, any person who's ever, you have to. You don't even think you have to have a brain to understand. You do have to have a brain. I'm sorry. You have to have a brain because obviously these people don't have a brain. You don't have to be super super intelligent to understand that a man is stronger than a woman. It is not fair. For this to even be allowed, for you to even go, be allowed to, to identify as a woman, as a male, and go and dominate a woman's sport. Because some of these women worked their whole entire life to get to this point, and now what you're doing is you're going over there and pretty much shitting on them, bro. You're a grown ass man, bro. What the hell is wrong with you, man? That's gonna do it for this video, bro. Y'all make sure y'all like the video, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to comment your thoughts down below. Don't forget to get that notification bell so that you get notified each and every time that I upload. Peace.